Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Terry Talks. Uh, Terry Dockey here, Director of Athletics at Laterno University in Longview, Texas. Today I have with me one of my very favorite cross country and will be indoor and outdoor track and field um, as soon as they start competing. And his name is Lorian Nightingale. Lorian, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Um, I take great pride, you know, Lorian, in, in trying to know all of our athletes. We have, without football, of course, we have about 273 student athletes, and I take great pride in knowing uh, the athletes and as much as I can about them. So, uh, Lorian joined us last year, got here in time to, matter of fact, I think, moved in, walked down the sidewalk, and started a cross country meet. Is that kind of how it happened? Yeah, no, I uh, sort of came in a little bit late. I didn't actually get recruited. Um, so I just sort of walked on. That's Mace team. Allison's fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cross country coach, right? Yeah, so yeah, my first meet was the Nicole Lane meet here. And uh, yeah, just went straight into it and actually did not do that well, which is unfortunate. No, I wasn't going to bring that up. <laughs> but, uh, so we'll move forward from there. Lorian has a very interesting background. Uh, Lorian is. Um, not from the United States of America, but I'm, I feel sure that you've been, uh, enjoyed your time here. Lauren, tell me a little bit about your background. Um, so yeah, no, I live in uh, Kenya, in Africa, and uh, yeah, just in a little small town out in the, uh, the countryside. So, how, yeah. how did you know about Laterno? I was, yeah, crazy. One of my student uh, advisors at my school just found out I was looking for a place to fly and do athletics and do maintenance at the same time and this place just kind of popped up on the radar. Okay, do you, now do you mean maintenance like on the air conditioners and heaters <laughs> and maintenance on the uh, like IT department or what type of maintenance? Not quite, it's all about aviation for me. Oh, so. aviation. So yep. plane, airplane maintenance? Everything, everything. Okay, yep. all right. Um, Africa, Kenya, is that, is that close to the United States? A little bit. <laughs> How did you get here? Did you fly? Yeah, that's... Swim? Yeah, a bit of, bit of everything really. Okay. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's a good, good little ways over. How had you ever been to America before? I, I had actually. I did a, my private pilot's license when I was 16. So I came over here a while ago and uh, yeah, got, got my license and then headed back for high school and then looked at a couple of places in America because I really liked it before. Okay. So that's kind of where the universities kind of came in, looking for places out here. Okay. Have you ever seen that movie, Coming to America? Is it kind of like that? I don't think so, actually. Okay, Sorry. put that on your uh, bucket list. Uh, okay. To do list. Okay. All right, now, Florian is a great cross country runner. And um, talk about your career since you've been here uh, last year, the regional meet, and that type of thing this year. All right. Uh, so, yeah, cross country uh, freshman year came in, made it to the uh, conference championships, mm -hmm. and was sort of 40th place in there. We didn't qualify for. I didn't qualify individually for regionals okay. that year, but um, yeah, second sophomore year came in and qualified for uh, regionals at the meet, and so yeah, came sort of a little lower down in pack than I did this time, mm -hmm. and then this year came seventh at sorry sixth in the uh, conference meet, which was absolutely an amazing result for me. First team all conference is what that means, Miriam. Yes, I was very happy. With okay, that. perfect. Um, yeah, so no, did that, and then qualified for the regional meet this year as well, and uh, because of that, and yeah. Okay, where was that regional meet? Tell the crowd. Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you, home of the blues. It was. And what was your favorite part about that trip? Oh, man, so many things. The race? I think it's, ooh. The buffalo? The buffalo were definitely up there, 100%. Okay. The buffalo were running on the trail with y'all, is that correct? Close the, enough. Okay, yeah. that's how I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> what were they? No joke. Uh, they were just there's a little reservation on the side. Oh yeah, that's really correct. Fun. I saw that. Okay, so talk about the race itself. Um, so it was it was a bit of a tough one. There was pretty pretty hard conditions. Uh, very sort of soggy spots around mm -hmm. about. There's a little mm -hmm. bit of ice and sort of some of the uh, the areas where the shadows were. So mm -hmm. it, yeah, just tough course overall. Cold, but no, it uh, tough race for everybody and yeah, just. But you survived it. You finished. I asked Alex Alexis Segura the other day, would, and I'll ask you, do you think your time would have been a tiny bit better if I had paced you? If I had been <laughs> running and been kind of like a pace car? Oh, definitely. That 
would have helped everyone. Yeah, through, the, through the first or second mile, definitely. No, I meant the whole race. Ooh, all right. In a car. <laughs> okay, so uh, indoor track and field. Are mm -hmm. you practicing? What will you be competing in? Uh, so I'm going to be 1,505,000. Uh, that's quite a bit. How, how far is that 5,000? Uh, well, how many miles is that? That is 3.2 miles. There you have it, 3.2 miles. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll be practicing with you on that one. <laughs> um, and so when is our first meet? January? Yeah, beginning and of January, as soon as we get back. I think it's the first week. And yeah. where, where do we go? Uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. You know, Oklahoma is like a foreign country <laughs> for us. When you, call, when you cross Red River going north okay. and you cross the border, you're in a different country, and it's called Oklahoma. <laughs> so uh, good luck there. You'll do great. Um, Lauren, what are you? Uh, uh, where are you academically? Are you a junior? Yes, so I'm okay. a jun junior academically, um, and I'm yeah, I'm doing maintenance and then also sort of electrical engineering concentration in that. So that means that you're probably pretty smart. I don't know about that, but yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> that's what somebody told me, and I really believe that's true. Um, what about your graduation date? Projecting out, when do you think you'll graduate? Uh, 2021, um, okay. but I'm, I'm not sure which semester yet. Okay, and do, will you go back to Africa? Uh, I'm hoping to stay about a year or two afterwards, mm -hmm. get a bit of work experience and then head back. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Well, we really appreciate you joining Laterno. We're happy you got here. I will talk to your to the head coach about uh, recruiting more people like you, uh, but we really appreciate it. Um, this morning on my way to school, you know, because I, I uh, know the car a little bit driving, I started thinking about how much I enjoy music. And uh, are you a music kind of person? Yeah. You listen all, to the radio a lot? All the old stuff. Yeah, so you listen to the old stuff. Yeah. That's what I love to hear. Okay, <laughs> then I'm going to throw out a name. Oh, no. One of my personal favorites, mm -hmm. and I'm sure it's yours, is Slim Whitman. Have you ever heard of Slim Whitman? I, I don't believe so. Mm, right it's not. too bad. Uh, it's kind of that old country western type of music, probably back in the 50s or 60s. Okay. Why don't you look Slim, uh, Slim Whitman up? And then have you ever heard of T-Rex, Bang a Gong? I wish. It's a great name. <laughs> I want you to think about that. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks so All much. Right. I enjoy you being here and great luck in the uh, indoor track and field. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much.